What's going on YouTube? It's Got the Night coming at you with another long awaited video. And guys, it has been far, far too long. If you've been watching the channel, which I doubt most of you had, seeing that my streams haven't been doing so well, but that's my own fault, none of your guys' because I'm not doing a whole lot. We finally have new graphics cards on the way that are probably worth actually checking out. Now guys, always wait for an independent reviewers uh reviews of the cards so like linus j uh gamers nexus bitwit paul's hardware hell even zach's tech turf make sure you wait for their reviews and take what nvidia has said today as a grain of salt now we're gonna get into some of the specs because we got the 3090 3080 and 3070 they are beast of a cards for the price because if we look here here's the msrps 3090 1500 bucks we all knew the rumors were true that this was in a sense going to be a titan replacement the 3080 way way faster than i know it's hard to see this but much much faster than a 2080 ti which is great now the 3070 is said to be on par with the 2080 ti if not a little bit better i speculate once independent reviewers come out it's gonna be neck and neck but that's great 500 dollars for a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars worth of graphics card that is incredible now if we go back to nvidia's official site the 3090 is going to have 24 gigs of gddr6x which is super 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 fast you got 10 gigs on the 3080 and then just GDDR6 on the 2070, which is eight gigs, which isn't bad. But one thing that they really touted was that they're going to help with programming bypass the system memory and actually use this super fast memory to help load games, which that would be pretty cool. Help load games quicker. Uh, so your VRAM usage, is probably going to be used up a lot i have a feeling that there's going to be ways to turn this off in the event that you're trying to run super high textures and stuff like that but we don't know that information yet that's just something i'm speculating about uh one thing that i am truly truly saddened though by is that none of these cards except for the 3090 supports sli as you guys know, I love SLI builds. If you've been a long-term viewer of the channel, my computer way, way back in the day had GTX 660s in SLI. Right now, um, stay tuned. I got something really, really good for you guys here soon. And my PC right now, even though, yes, they're very old, I have two GTX 970s. I do speculate that since this is gonna be beating a 2080 Ti, used prices of the are the 2080 is ti is probably gonna drop so can i still do an sli build on the cheap maybe we'll figure it out that was one big bummer but these power draws actually aren't that bad in my opinion um because i guarantee you my 970s draw a lot of power and i get that and with the new cpu that i got in there whoo Stay tuned again, you guys will see that. And I think you guys will really like what I put into the build, along with better aesthetics. Um, I'm still trying to iron out some details, make it look even prettier before I unveil it on the channel. I don't believe that's that bad. Now, one thing we need to talk about with the 3090, they're touting it as the first ever 8K 60 frames per second graphics card. Now, once independent reviewers get their hands on it, they will be able to say whether or not it is. Nice part is they do have the beautiful HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPoint, DisplayPort 1.4, which then you'll be able to do 8K um, 60 frames a second and 4K 120. They all have the HDMI 2.1 as well which is really good your memory bus your maximum resolution which is yes an 8k resolution that's not cinematic if i remember correctly that is 
in a sense is 16 by 9, but I could be wrong about that. Someone can let me know down in the comments down below. I don't remember off the top of my head. But what do you guys think? I think that the 3070s are going to sell out and they're going to sell out fast if it comes uh, to be true that the 3070 is better than the 2080 Ti. Or even if it's on par or just below it, for $500, you're getting a last generation $1,000 to $1,500 graphics card, depending on who you bought it from and what vendor with what spec on it you bought it from for $500. This is probably the best generational leap we have probably seen in a very long time. As uh, the NVIDIA CEO said himself, Pascal friends, so those 1080s and 1080 Ti's, it's safe to upgrade. Again, wait. Wait till the independent reviewers come out though and give you hard data because you know the guys that I mentioned earlier are going to make sure that you get your money's worth and make sure NVIDIA keeps their claims in reality. Keep Let's keep them in check since they are such a massive company. But my only sad part is, is I love my SLI builds. I'm a little sad about that. So I might, depending on the price, sprinkle in a little 2080 Ti's in my system, but we will see. So if you let me know what you guys think. Are you going to upgrade? Because I definitely need to upgrade. I'm running some old 3.5 gigabyte 970s. It's time for an upgrade. They're not doing so hot in modern games. I'm doing medium to sometimes high settings, but I like to game at my 1440 or my 144 hertz. So I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys stopping in. I missed you guys. Content is going to be pumped out. I got another video lined up with stuff that I do truly think you guys are going to like. And if you have made it this far in the video make sure you drop a like for the youtube algorithm not only that down in the comments just type in red along with your comment or if you just want to type in red do it for me so guys this is got the night signing out